What's up, wrestling fans, trading card collectors? Welcome to another episode of Wrestling With Cards. Today, I'm going to continue the Mail Day series, but I'm also renaming this, as you can see from the title, Mail Day and Cards I'm Investing In, because really that's why I'm buying cards. I'm buying cards to flip, buying cards from my PC to then hopefully gain in value and maybe someday sell those. I'm not one of those guys who is attached to cards for life. I'll sell anything for a price. But I'm not buying it unless I see value in it. So let's get started. Right off the bat, look at that graded wrestling card. 1995 BBM Pro Wrestling out of Japan. Cactus Jack. This is from his IWA Japan Deathmatch days. And when I look at this card, this is how I see Cactus Jack. I know a lot of people are really into Dude Love, Mankind, Mick Foley, all of those other characters and gimmicks. But this is what I remember as a kid. Seeing all this blood and guts style Cactus Jack with those sweet boots. Bang, bang. I don't know what any of that says because it's all in Japanese. This is his rookie card, and I got this at really a reasonable price for PSA 9. So there's that. Next up, really interesting Nike card. Nike put out a small set that had Spike Lee and Michael Jordan in the 90s. There you go, you can see a little bit more. Well, excuse me, Mars Blackman, not Spike Lee. Look, Mom, I can fly. 1991. I'm not even sure how you could get these cards. I just ran across them, and this is the one card in that set that really stood out to me, mainly because Little Richard was on it. And I think someone shared it because this was shortly after Little Richard passed away. And I just saw this, and I was like, wow, this is an interesting card design. I've never seen anything like it. i got to have it. Picked it up for under $10. No-brainer purchase. Next up, we've got several LeBrons. All the same card. Panini Threads. And I don't remember what the parallel on this is. It's got this, like, sparkle parallel. Again, this is the iconic shot that a lot of people are buying on the 2018-19 Optic. These are also 2018 cards. So, again... This would be his another set of cards. It's his first Laker cards in that iconic shooting pose. These, I think, were under $5 a piece. I don't know what they are now because it's been a while since I bought them. But can't ever go wrong investing in LeBron. Next up, we have several Anthony Davis cards. Let's run through these. Why am I buying Anthony Davis? Well, he's a star player. He's on the Lakers. You know, media frenzy team in a big city. And they've got the chance to win the title. So when when and if they win the title, even if they just get to the finals, I think his value is going to go up. I've said that in a lot of previous videos about certain players. So we've got two select, I believe, these are, yeah, concourse. Two select concourse silvers. Got the blue prism. I forgot the name of these. Two purple prisms. I like the purple because of the Lakers. You know, it's one thing I like to do. I'm not sure if it correlates to value, but it's something I like to look for is the parallel colors to match the uniform. So, you know, if this was a yellow or a uh, silver, obviously, or purple, then I think those would be good. So I picked these up for next to nothing. And I don't remember the name of this prism card either. It's not a silver. I mean, it does have that hologram finish. But I can't remember what the name of this is. But anyway, I figured the Anthony Davis cards were a decent investment for the short term. We got two Sting and Pell cards. Now these I've talked about before, only available in cases, random cases of the 1991 WCW and Pell set. Screams 90s. These are a little bit harder to find now than they used to be. So anytime I see them, I pick them up. Ten bucks a piece. You can see the theme here. A lot of these cards are $10 or less. I think that's really a low-risk, high-reward purchase. Brock Lesnar, rookie NFL card. These are getting harder and harder to find. I don't know that there were that many produced. Not numbered, but his rookie card with the Vikings. I'm a huge Lesnar fan, so this might be something I keep for a little bit longer and not so much a flip. Last but not least, we've got some WWF Swanson cards. These are not in that great of condition, clearly. But these are hard to find. I believe they were only in the Swanson TV dinners, maybe? I'm not sure. But they were only available in certain products. 
So it's not like you could just go to the store and get these in packs or anything. I think these were about, I don't know, $2 a piece. So again, I know the condition isn't that great, but considering the scarcity and they're just cool looking cards that scream like late 80s, early 90s pro wrestling, especially with Warrior, one of my favorite wrestlers ever, I couldn't pass these up. You never know what you're going to find in just random lots you see on eBay, so don't ever be afraid to kind of step out of the box with your search results and search something that you wouldn't expect. So that's it for today's video. If you like what you're seeing, go down below, hit the subscribe button. While you're there, check out all my links to social media, and check out my storefronts to eBay, Mercari, and check out my cards. Hope you enjoyed this mail day video. Invest in cards. It's go they're going nowhere but up. Until next time, see you wrestling fans.